Hey guys, Ashley Francis here with Blue Sage Counseling and Wellness, and today we're going to talk about owning your own shit. So if you're one of the fortunate ones who possesses the bravery to embark on a journey of self-discovery, you'll experience a time, let's be honest, a few times, when you're confronted with some harsh truths about yourself that will cause you to hurt so badly you'd actually choose physical torture in its place. And yet, for some reason, you can't get enough of it, and you go back for more. Sounds like cruel and unusual punishment, right? Why would anyone engage in such a process that is so painful? Doesn't that seem counterintuitive? Well, the truth is, all growth is painful. Some experiences of growth are more painful than others, and some less so. But we keep coming back for more because of the long-term payoff, also known as behavior change, and breaking unhelpful patterns. I'm convinced that the people who say that people don't change are the very ones who have never experienced radical behavior change themselves. I believe that these individuals have either never desired to do the deep digging or they simply haven't known how. Either way, this person tends to remain very stuck. They repeat the same mistakes without any improvement and they also tend to blame the world for their problems and be generally discontent. If you keep swimming in the shallow end, you never get to experience the multidimensional depths of consciousness and humanity that we're all designed to experience. How boring. Enter the brave consciousness explorer who gets off the elevator at each floor just to look around in the minute hope that he or she will find the tiniest piece of the puzzle that gets them closer to understanding the meaning of life. The one who asks and ponders the big questions. The one who isn't afraid to go there and ask the difficult questions. The one who knows that the answers are going to hurt, but they ask anyway. The one who has the wisdom to understand that immediate gratification is just a distraction from real truth. The one who has the patience to allow the evolution of the self to unfold in its own time and not through control. The one who knows that connection is the elixir to cure all of the world's problems. If you're listening to this and you're thinking, what the hell is she talking about? Good. If you're listening to this and thinking, finally, someone who gets me, good. And if you're listening to this and thinking anything at all, good. Let us now discuss one of the ways you can go exploring in the deep end to gain a more solid sense of self, enhance your relationships, and create more joy in your life. What does it mean to own your own shit? Straightforwardly, this means to get honest with yourself. I mean, really honest and admit that this is something that is true for you and worth exploring. These are the types of things that you typically wouldn't tell anybody. Okay, maybe a therapist or a spiritual leader, but you secretly can't deny them to yourself. You can't run from it because it constantly keeps showing up in your life, disguised in various ways and likely during very inconvenient times. Sometimes admitting these things to yourself happens right away. Sometimes it takes weeks months or even years to come to terms with. These are also the types of things that show up that are holding you back in your life. Your fears, your hesitations, your ways to self-sabotage, your addictions, the ways you numb out, your regrets, the stuff you are hoping to take to your grave. Yeah, that stuff. Sounds awful, right? But what's worse, continuing to let those things accumulate until it becomes an undeniable malignant mass that's slowly killing you or would you rather rip that sucker out of there once and for all? The trickiest part is that sometimes there can be conflicting parts of ourselves that can disrupt this process. For example, one part of your brain may actually be convinced that you're ready to confront your demons, but as soon as you get confronted with a thought or feeling you didn't expect, it sends you right back into your comfort zone. Please know that this is normal. Not only is it normal, it's expected. It's supposed to hurt. You buried that shit for a reason, because it hurts. But it's also not doing you any favors while hiding in the dark. So here are six steps to get honest with yourself and own your own shit. First is to identify the low hanging fruit, the stuff you already know about yourself that is mild to moderately painful. The second is to meditate or engage in some intrapsychic exercise like yoga or guided imagery to access the unconscious. This is where 90% of your shit lives anyway. Next is develop a routine and make it a ritual that keeps what you've discovered at the forefront so that you can keep working on it. It's really easy to forget these things. Next is to get a trusted accountability buddy who's going to hold you accountable when, not if, 
you're feeling unmotivated. Next is to take care of your mind and your body. Exercise, eat well, nurture social relationships, make amends, clean up your karma, do what you need to do. And then finally is to seek professional assistance. Once we do all of this digging, you might have a lot of information that comes to the forefront and you might be struggling with how to make sense of it or how to manage it, how to handle it. That's a really good time to seek out a spiritual leader and or a therapist to help you make sense of it yourself and begin to integrate it into your everyday life. So that will do it today for uh, the discussion on how to own your own shit and the importance of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like and let us know in the comments section what you think. And to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Take care.